Alright, today I'm going to be telling you guys what I personally believe is the best and the worst song on each Eminem album that is out there. Now, I am only going to be doing the bass versions of these albums. I'm not doing any deluxes or compilation albums or special editions like Curtain Call or anything like that. This is all strictly just the bass projects. I did a video like this on NF and you guys seem to really enjoy it. I had a lot of fun doing that. So if there's any other artists you guys want me to make a video like this for, please comment that and I'll definitely take a look into that. But yeah, man, this is day number 45 in a row of uploads. That's some crazy madness, team. I know it may look like there's some gaps in certain days, but those are days I either live streamed or they are members only videos. That's right. I take care of my members. You get some exclusive perks. So if you want to become a member, it's five bucks a month. Just click the link in the description. You also get a free reaction request whenever I do my live streams. It's a dope fun party time. But okay, let's quit fucking around and get into this. Album number one, Infinite. A lot of you guys aren't even aware of this album. It's full of like lo-fi beats. <laughs> it's very different than the rest of his discography. Uh, the mixing is very poor on it. It's not the worst that I've heard. But for a debut project, like the lyricism and the lyrics and storytelling was very fucking good. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. There's not a whole lot of difference between Infinite lyrics and like the Slim Shady LP lyrics. The bass foundation was there in Infinite. It 100% was. In fact, if you go look at the comments on that video, a lot of people are saying that's their favorite Eminem album. I mean, for me, it's way too low down and not energetic enough by any means. And a lot of the songs sound the same to me, which made it difficult for me to pick my least favorite. My favorite on the album, and I think the best on the album by far is Infinite. It's really cool to see him basically lay out everything that he's going to do in his career. Speaking it into existence, and now here we are. The majority of hip-hop culture recognize him as one of the greatest rappers of all time, if not the greatest. And for me, I think the worst song on this album, or my least favorite, would have to be Maxine. It's just different than the rest of the songs, and it's a story about this woman, and I didn't really care for the feature on it that much. But again, there wasn't like a, a fact. Like, there wasn't a clear-cut, that song fucking sucks. Moving up to his official debut album to the public that was widely distributed, we have the Slim Shady LP. What a fucking way to come into the game, right? There's a lot of really good Eminem songs on this, but there's also quite a number of pretty bad ones. I would definitely have to say that Come On Everybody is my least favorite on this album for obvious reasons. I mean, it's a funny song, but this is one of the songs on the album that doesn't even sound like Dre had anything to do with it. It sounds like he's rapping on a live stage mic. Just the mixing, the production, none of it sounds like the rest of the album to me. And then obviously topic wise, it's just like, it's, it's too over the top for me. But yeah, man, this album has Guilty Conscience, which is probably a top 10 Eminem song for me. There's just a lot of cool songs on this, but I think I would be executed if I didn't say that my name is is the best song on this album can you just imagine man your debut album with the first song on the album is my name is like that is one of the craziest songs he's ever made and started his career off with that moving on up to the marshall mathers lp the very next year man it kills me just going back looking at these track lists and seeing how many crazy songs are on these albums for me i think the worst song in this album or at least the less memorable song on this album is coincidentally remember me i just do not like any of the features on this and eminem almost sounds like a feature on his own song right this i honestly was not aware the song was even on the album but then i have to try to pick a best song on this album and listen to this okay i have to pick from kill you stan the way i am the real slim shady and criminal but come on man stan has to be one of the greatest songs written of all time that was just a nice storytelling song with a twist that not a lot of people saw coming a whole lot of people weren't rapping like this at the time people still can't really execute storytelling songs like this nowadays moving up to the next album which i believe might be the best eminem album arguably we got the eminem show for me my least favorite song and i think the worst song in the album is drips with obi trice you'll come to see that i'm not a huge fan of the really crazy wild and out goofy Eminem. I like when he does it to a certain extent, but when he goes overboard like songs like this, I'm just not there for it. It's enough to give me a good laugh, but I'm not going to sit there and listen to the song over and over again. And then listen to the songs that are on this album that I had to try to choose the best from. We got Cleaning Out My Closet, Without Me, Sing For The Moment, Superman, Till I Collapse. I'm inclined to say that Without Me is the best song on this album, but personally, I'm going to listen to Till I Collapse more. On to the next album with Encore, one of my least favorite Eminem albums. It was hard for me to pick the worst song on this album between Puke and Big Weenie. Big Weenie is just because of the chorus and I have to hear that shit on TikTok all the time now. The raps on it are fire as fuck, straight disses thrown out like crazy. But in the end, I picked Puke as the worst song on this album. Just the, the immediate sound of vomit in a toilet to start a song. Just no, no, never. 
Never will I ever. And then the best song on this album, I put as Mockingbird. It's one of my favorite Eminem songs of all time. Very close second to Like Toy Soldiers. Again, I don't feel like enough people talk about Like Toy Soldiers, but Mockingbird is just so good. It has to edge it out. And I think right now, Mockingbird is in the top 10 songs of new daily streams of any rap song. Like it's literally getting more new streams per day than 99.9% .9 of all other rap music right now. And the damn song is 20 years old. After a five year hiatus, we return back to relapse god dude i still remember being at my grandmother's house seeing the music video i don't know if it was on bet for it was on mtv music videos or vh1 whatever it was on but the music video for we made you with tony romo and jessica simpson parodies uh that song was just played out the fucking ass and i hate that song as far as the worst song there were a handful to pick from here but when it came down to it i felt like my least favorite song was hello again this is just one of those instances where i, I don't like the goofiness that much but i did didn't really even remember the song whenever I was looking through the track list trying to pick a worse song or my least favorite song but 100% without a doubt by a landslide beautiful is the best song on this album and I personally think Eminem's best song ever made moving on to the next year's holy commercial bangers we have recovery I would say this album probably was the hardest one for me to really narrow down my decision but yeah at the end of the day I ended up picking you're never over as my least favorite song on this just because the, the singing on the hook really throws me off I absolutely love the message behind the song and it hurts to pick this as my least favorite but again it was hard for me to really pick a least favorite and that's just why i landed on it because of the chorus and the singing on the chorus wasn't that good but the best song what am i supposed to do here listen to this four track run right here we got no love space bound cinderella man and 25 to life that four track run right there is ridiculous but at the end of the day i chose no love as my favorite and the best song on this album if you ask me literally in 10 minutes it probably would be Cinderella Man or it might be Space Bound. Literally any of those four songs in that four track run is a yes from me. Now on to my senior year of high school, 2013, we got the Marshall Mathers LP2. Uh, the worst song on this and my least favorite is Stronger Than I Was. This thing is just painfully slow to listen to. It's got some more of that screechy Eminem singing that I'm not a big fan of like it was on You're Never Over from the last album. It's just too much for me and I'm not gonna replay that over and over again even though it has over 60 million streams. There's a bunch of songs on this album that don't even have half of those streams but for me this is my least favorite and i think the worst song on the album and then the best song i think it's obvious on this one we got rap god uh just an absolute staple in eminem's catalog headlights is really good on this album we got the monster with rihanna but those rihanna songs i just never thought were in his top 25 after a four-year hiatus we come back with arguably his worst album with revival this album still has not grown on me i did a full album ranking video on this a couple months ago that you guys could check out and i don't remember what i said is the worst song and the best song on that album but for me, Untouchable is still just an untouchable song for me to ever play. Except the end. The end of the song is so dope. I wish that was the song by itself. But the chorus for this is just not for me, man. I just cannot listen to it. But as far as the best song on this album, I'm 100% lumping in two songs together because they work together as one song with Castle and A Rose. If you've never heard this duo of a song, please listen to it. It is incredible. Going into Kamikaze, which is one of my favorite Eminem albums. I love how simple this was and the surprise release whenever it came out was crazy i think the worst song on this is nice guy or normal but I, i'm leaning to nice guy i liked good guy with jesse reyes i think she has a very unique singing voice and can really utilize it well but with nice guy it was just all over the top and the suck my dick you fucking suck man like that part i just i just wasn't a fan of that as far as the best song on this i'm probably leaning towards lucky you with joiner lucas but the ringer is a very very tight close as second place now moving on to his two most recent projects we will start with music to be murdered by side a uh for me the worst song on this album was farewell i think that or maybe little engine just because of how repetitive it was but farewell just never really got the replay value for me i think he really enjoyed it though was that on curtain call too yeah it was so <laughs> eminem himself really enjoyed that song and then i think the best song on that album if you guys know my channel you know all about this song uh godzilla i notoriously wasn't a huge huge fan of it when I reacted to it. I think I gave it like a 7 out of 10, but that song absolutely grew on me so hard. And then I ended up doing a remix of the song itself, and now I close out every single set when I perform on stage with the Godzilla remix. And then finally, at the end of 2020, he released Music to be Murdered by Side B. That's crazy. We're coming up on three years at the end of this year. My least favorite song on this was probably Favorite Bitch, and I don't feel like super strong about that. I could totally be swayed. But just looking through the track list, re-listening to some of the songs, that's what I landed on. And then my favorite 
favorite song, the one that I still listen to all the time, gets me hyped as fuck, is Higher. I'll be mowing my lawn or something, and then this just like pops up in my brain. The hook to this is very catchy. But that is it. Those are my favorite and my least favorite, the best and the worst songs on each Eminem album. Obviously, your music taste is different than mine, so you're going to disagree. And I would love to see what you think is the best and the worst songs on each of these albums down in the comment section below. I really like reading the comments and seeing where everybody else's headspace is on this kind of stuff. But that's it for this video, guys. Please become a member. Check the link down below in the description and have some fun on some Sunday live streams and get some access to some members only videos. It's fun. I love you guys. Have a great day. This is my music. Peace out. Yeah, I'm out here trying to get it. Each and every day. I don't care about nothing in my way. Yeah, I'm out here trying to get it. Each and every day. I'll make it no matter what they say. Yeah, I'm out here trying to get it.